Hi, everybody. It was a chilly day. High temperature out of PDX, 44 degrees. And if you're out and about a lot on the Saturday, you know that much of the time it was actually 38, 39, 40. And it's the second day of March. I thought I'd start off. It's 540 in the afternoon. I'm putting this down. I grabbed this from the uh, live camera at Camas Mills Golf Course. This was early this morning in the seven o'clock hour. This quickly melted, and it was really light. But that is, in fact, the dusting of snow, Camas Meadows Golf Course. That sets down low, by the way. No elevation to speak of. Here's the Oregon Garden Resort out in Silverton. Uh, and that's a light dusting. You can see a little snow here and there. I mean, really light. Now, we had this at times yesterday for the second straight day today. The elevated hills out in wine country showed some decent snow cover. This is Domain Serene Winery. Out in the Dundee Hills, I believe this elevation is at least 500 feet looking uh, and I'm not sure if it's higher than that, but I think it's at least around 500 feet. Well, Amma Valley Vineyards also showed some snow on the hill there just south of Salem on I-5. So what's interesting about the fact that we finally got some visuals on areas of light snow or snow dustings last night into this morning is that. If you just look at the upper level height, the pool of cold air aloft with this cold trough of low pressure that's over us, this morning was the coldest the air will be. I mean, it's still going to be cold in the coming days, but by a degree or so, this morning was absolutely the coldest. Now, with that said, I'm not going to be surprised if we have some at least patchy or scattered light dustings of snow again overnight tonight into tomorrow morning something i've been telling you is possible the last several days and finally it happened this morning and it may again sunday morning so this is the water vapor imagery the big full disc uh, if you will and right in here if you just watch my my hand cursor right in through here is the cold trough and the northwest flow out of the gulf of alaska that continues to feed in um the visible Sally picture, you really tell the scattered nature of the showery pattern well. You can see the little bumps in the green, which indicates higher cloud tops and, and decent water vapor. So this is also picking up the scattered shower coming in. This fetch of moisture right in here is the main jet stream. We're actually up here in the, the polar jet has been ramming into the Southern Oregon, Northern California area. And then the main jet flow has been farther down into Southern California. But clearly, we are really cold. And if you hadn't heard, they finally got some pretty good snow uh, blizzard warnings. In fact, at one point down in the Tahoe area, also up around Mount Shasta, Siskiyou Summit was very snow covered on I-5 earlier this morning when I checked a little bit uh, about an hour ago. It, it looked like that had really cleaned or, or cleared up. But uh, this has been a, a cold winter storm pattern that's been all the way down into California this time around. Now, real quick, here's the watch warning map from our friends at the National Weather Service. Pardon me, I just lost my forecast sheet. Never good to lose your forecast sheet. I need this. <laughs> so the purple color is a winter weather advisory, which basically is for sticking snow, but not enough to produce a winter storm warning. So we have the advisory up and down the Cascades and up and down the Coast Range. Now, the wording, the wording on some of this down in the Siskiyous of California, they're expecting more snow tonight and tomorrow. Above 4,500 feet, they're looking at 5 to 10 inches of snow down there. And then our own coast range could be 2 to 5 inches of snowfall overnight tonight. Now, to get that 5-inch mark, you probably need to get up above 1,000 feet. But at lower elevations, there could be 1, 2, 3 inches of snow on those roadways. The coast range highways were absolutely snow-covered earlier this morning, many of them. And then they all went pretty much clean this afternoon, and now, now they're starting to show some snow cover again. So that's the pattern we continued to be in. You know, we get snow at 1,000 feet lower at night that sticks. During the day, that melts. And during the day, you've got to be up to 1,500 or even 2,000 to really find any significant new snow falling. Anyway, winter weather advisory, that continues with this cold pattern in place. Uh, let's start by looking at some current conditions, just dealing with the last hours of sunshine. Um, sun, or last minutes, I should say. Snow level generally is going to be where it's been today and tomorrow and even into Tuesday. And that is 1,000 feet to lower at times, especially at night or mainly at night, 1,000 feet to higher during the day. And really, in terms of uniform snow, closer to 1,500. In terms of anything significant falling, closer to two. So that, that's kind of where we've been. So this shows you the snow levels virtually unchanged into Tuesday. And then we finally get a little bit of a warm-up. Right now, 
both models, the American and the European that I look at, like a dry Wednesday here in Portland as well. Snow level up to 2,500 feet, a weak system on Thursday. But look how we start to warm, 3,500 foot snow level on Thursday. So again, once we get through Tuesday, we're going to begin exiting out of what has been the coldest air with this system that really came in all the way back Sunday evening of last week. Here's Highway 26 on the government camp. That's the march of skiers and boarders making their way home. 24 degrees up there, really cold. I mentioned the Siskiyou Summit was snow covered this morning, but there it is clear again with the temperature. It's cold, 27 degrees. They just have the highway clean. Um, and Santiam, absolutely snow covered. Lamb Pass, absolutely snow covered. Cabbage Hill getting out into the Blue Mountains uh, right there. You can see the snow roadside, but uh, at 29 degrees, the pavement's okay. There you see some of the snow at 1,500 feet with Highway 26 wet at this hour, but snow roadside. And again, there's uh, another look at government camp right there. Um, I do have some of the Coast Range cameras. Let's see here. Chilly day at the coast as well. These are um, 530 temps. Astoria, 37. Lincoln City, 37. Newport, 39. What a cold day. Gearhart by the Sea, a resort camp showing the raindrops on the lens there. Depot Bay's had partly cloudy skies at times today, but lots of clouds. Same thing with the Inner Otter Crest. And now here are the coast cameras. Now notice 1,400 feet, Highway 26, the sunset rust area. Snow is now falling, but it's 34 degrees, so the road is wet. This road will get snow covered again overnight tonight, likely be snow covered early tomorrow morning, and then it will melt off during the day. That's what we've been seeing. Even on Oregon 18, if you're going into Lincoln City and Newport area, uh, on Murphy Hill, which is 660 feet. There's some snow roadside right there with a temperature of 32. So you get the idea that it's going to become snow covered again overnight tonight in the Coast Range. Current temperature map, let's go down to Medford where it's 39 degrees right now. Pretty similar temps to Portland. Generally staying above freezing, 46 tomorrow, 46 Monday, rain showers. A chance of some snow mixing in, but mostly rain showers there in the city. And then like Portland, starting to warm up the back half of the week. There's Thursday in the 50s, Friday 55, Saturday 55 degrees. So um, that is all pleasant news. Let's bounce up to Seattle. I bet it's going to be pretty similar. Yeah, better chance of freezing temps at night. And Seattle, like Portland, could see some patchy snow dustings in the metro area with temperatures around freezing tonight and again into Monday and again into Tuesday morning. There's that dry Wednesday shows up in Seattle as well. And then warming up, 53 on Friday, 53 on Saturday. Very similar. Let's go over to Bend, 36 degrees right now. Much colder here. Low 20s tonight, 38 tomorrow. Low 20s Monday morning, 37 in the afternoon. Clearly, this is snow shower chances at night with some sticking snow, temps in the 20s. And then a daytime snow mix to rain. Wednesday again is dry. Now in Central Oregon, here's some nice weather. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday all look to be dry right now. And by Friday, warming all the way up to 47 degrees. So that's that, that's pretty nice, right? Okay, here's Portland's seven-day forecast. Um, today, by the way, the low is 37. The high was 44. PDX did have a light snow and an observation at some point. So I'm assuming that there's a chance that they're going to put a trace of snow in today's climate report. That final report for today doesn't come out until about 4.30 tomorrow morning. So we'll see. Anyway, 33 tonight at the coldest. 45 in the afternoon. Watch out for some, some patchy light dustings in the morning. Same thing on Monday. I really feel like we're going to start to open up increasing chances of sun breaks, if not tomorrow, Monday. And again, any sun breaks to open up will simply fuel the possibility of heavier showers to follow with hail, maybe a rumble of thunder. Tuesday, all models show is a much drier day. Absolutely some sun breaks. We'll call it a few scattered, mainly rain showers. Snow level in the afternoon is still about 1,500 feet. There's that dry Wednesday, 30 to 49. A weak system right now is timing out to bring some rain, but not much, maybe a tenth of an inch. Wednesday overnight through noon Thursday. Then the afternoon, if the timing doesn't change on Thursday, would be dry, becoming partly cloudy, warming to 49. I have a dry Friday, and then our Nick system with a southerly flow in front of it comes in Saturday, but we're much warmer. Now we've got us 58 Friday, clearly totally gone from the cold air that we've been in for so long at this point. And then Saturday is still a pretty mild day with rain coming down, temperatures in the 50s. That's more typical, of course, for March. Well, that is your update. Um, the big story is no real changes, except for maybe we'll start to opening up some sun breaks tomorrow or certainly on Monday. And then we have the dry day on Wednesday. And then we start to get a little bit warmer 
uh, after that. Uh, outlook models, if you're curious, still show that um, the, the back half of March is not going to be, I don't think, colder than normal. It will either be near normal or slightly above. Um, and that's going to be on the heels of this, what looks to be, you know, relatively warmer than we've seen, but relatively chilly temperatures through next week, much of the time as well. The week after this coming, I meant to say. All right. I'm meteorologist Rod Hill. Thanks for subscribing to my YouTube channel. We'll look tomorrow more in the extended flow patterns. I realize I didn't get into that today. And some of you like to see that. We will get into that uh, when I post a video tomorrow afternoon. I'll talk to you soon.